Hello friends, uh, welcome back to VLSI app. The topic that I have chosen today is CPPR. So this is also one of the favorite topic for interviewer in electronics engineering. Uh, so today we are going to discuss like what is CPPR and uh, what is the importance of it. But before going to understand CPPR, uh, we need to know what is OCV. Okay, so please watch till last uh, to understand all the terms. And guys, uh, I also wanted to say, like as you supported from years, like uh, please share the videos of VLSI Fab in your circle, just to motivate. Okay, so let's start the video without wasting time. Hi friends. So CPPR topics, uh, the topic is comes after the OC, uh, like STI introduces OCV and uh, OCV analysis. So here I co covered small introduction of OCV so that we can understand the CPPR and how CPPR is related to OCV. So we all know during the manufacturing of chips on the same die that may uh, suffer from variations due to process, voltage or temperature change. The transistor can be faster or slower in different dies. So delay vary across a single die due to PVT conditions. PVT means process, voltage and temperature. The delay value of an IC in cold water is different and hot water hot weather is different. So in like in cold water cold weather the metals in IC will shrink so the delay will decrease and in hot hot weather what will happen the metal will expand so the delay will increase. So to compensate all these variations STA introduces a concept that that is called OCV on chip variation. In this concept what they do like some extra timing margins are added in the timing analysis as just I uh, just I mentioned that uh, uh, in the hot weather the metal will expand correct so that things we need to consider also correct so that extra things that we need to consider for that we have added some timing margins in the timing analysis so in OCV all the, all the cells or net in the launch clock part, data clock, data part and capture clock part will be added a fixed delayed value like to bring some more pessimism in the timing analysis and also to compensate the variation like in simple word OCV is a technique uh, in which this flat delay is applied to make faster path more fast and slower path more slower So let's try to understand the uh, setup analysis uh, when we use the D rate values. Okay. So what happens? So setup analysis under OCV. So what will happen? In order to make the setup analysis, uh, we need to model the OCVs in such a way that like the setup will become more pessimistic. Correct. So you know, right? One second. Let me try. Let me have one diagram. Suppose data is coming this point okay suppose this is the data okay so for that clock should reach early correct then only we can this is the clock clk and this is suppose data t okay so data should uh, like clock should reach early so that we can latch the data properly correct so you can see if suppose data will come faster okay before reaching the clock so what will happen clock won't be able to latch the data properly correct so to make if we want to uh, like make it more pessimistic then what we need to do we have to make the data path faster correct so, and uh, clock path we need to make slower correct so that's why to make the data path faster what we have to do we have to add some d rate okay that is some percentage so okay d rate percentage so it will increase the uh, like so that d d data path will become more faster if we increase the d rate and if we decrease the d rate data path will become slower and it will become more pessimistic so here it is I have mentioned it is X percentage instead of X it might be 2% 3% depending upon the design okay 
so in this way setup uh, delete is applied for setup analysis and for the hold analysis we will go to the next slide so hold analysis so if you consider hold so data should be stable for a sufficient period of time correct that we know else hold violation, hold, hold violation will occur so in OCV uh, like to make the things more pessimistic what they do is they make the data path slower and clock path faster okay as in the diagram we can see in the clock path they are applying positive rate correct so see this is the clock path they, they are making it to the positive rate correct <coughs> and uh, which will make the clock reaching faster and the negative delete in the data path see this is the negative delete correct so negative delete in the data path which will make the data path slower as opposite to the setup i hope you are clear how ocv make the things more pessimistic so if you like if you want to know more please write in the comment section okay so let's move to the final part of our presentation now we'll going to the main part that is cppr okay so before going to cppr i just uh, wanted to understand uh, under, i just wanted to tell you like what is the uh, common clock path pessimism okay common path pessimism so first of all uh, in the diagram you can see one second so this is the launch flop correct and this is the capture flop so this part launch flop will start from here correct and the capture flop uh, capture path will start from like goes like this correct so you can see this black portion correct that i have highlighted here black so this is the common path correct common clock path so when any pair of launching and capturing flop portion of clock path has common the difference between the max and min delay of that common clock segment is referred to as common path pessimism okay so as i already mentioned in my previous slide like setup check would be most critical when clock reaches the launching flop late okay and uh, <coughs> capturing flop early correct if it goes to the capture critical and if data path takes more delay then it will be setup critical correct so and in the same way hold check would be most critical when clock reaches the launching flop early and capturing flop late and uh, data path takes less delay so considering the following example like with no common clock path okay now as of now i have not taken the common clock path mm -hmm. so note that uh, we have just applied the above principle to add the pessimism in the timing analysis so while doing setup analysis three buffers in the launching path would be deleted by two percent correct that will be launching by deleted by two percent and uh, the capturing path would be deleted by this capturing would be deleted by minus two percent and the data path would be deleted by plus five per, plus two percent okay that is for setup and in the same way while doing the hold analysis it will be the opposite the clock tree buffers in the launching path would be deleted by minus 2% and the capturing path would be deleted by plus 2% and data path would be deleted by minus 2%. So in the next slide, uh, now we will see uh, what will happen if we add some uh, clock buffers in the common clock path. So guys, this is the slide where, like where we have added uh, the common clock path. Okay, so let's see, you can see in the diagram. Now I have added two more uh, clock buffers in the common path. Okay, so ideally speaking, like for setup analysis, uh, like we have already learned, right, that we would like to take the five percent deleted value of the delay uh, while considering the launch path and minus 5% related value while considering the capture path correct but you can see this is a uh, common path correct this this two clock this two clock buffer will come into the common path okay so how can the same buffer or same uh, like uh, same buffer or like the same inverter can be deleted differently for launch and capture that is the main thing actually 
from that problem this TCP PR concept arises actually so uh, these buffers like in they are in the same location correct so at a time they would behave in a similar manner only it does not make sense to consider different delays for the same buffer and this is the origin of the CPPR <coughs> and usually this is a unwanted thing correct because see uh, if we add uh, deleted value for setup for uh, launch path and for capture also then the same things going to be add two times correct so uh, what the EDA to ED, EDA tool do is like they do the calculation like considering the common path to be non-existent and in the slack what they do they add the double deleted value of the common buffers suppose uh, <coughs> this deleted value is 2% correct so they will add 4% in the slack value which would be around like 4% correct in the common buffer in our case so this is called uh, CPPR common path pessimism removal so <coughs> this way we uh, remove the common path pessimism that is the CPPR so guys thank you for watching the VLSI fab channel and uh, so, like for supporting VLSI fab channel for long please like share and subscribe the video